Hello friends, and welcome to the channel. This is Stormhaven Gaming, I'm John, and this is Satisfactory. Okay, I'm at the... where are we? Uh, we're up at the coal end. Um, this is our um, coal refueling uh, pickup point. Uh, the drop-off point is uh, way over there towards the space elevator. Um, I've done a little bit of work. I haven't yet done anything with the uh, oil node uh, that we started setting up last episode um, because I have been busy. Um, I've realised that... I mean, I said at the start of this I was going to try and focus on making things look good. And... I mean, apart from the road, which I think looks fantastic, although admittedly I did kind of steal the design from um, what Darren plays, but still, we haven't really done a lot of making things look pretty, which is kind of what I wanted to do with this series. So, I have spent a little bit of time messing about. Um, I've taken... You can see what I've done there. Uh, I've taken the coal from up here. Just there, which is by our, um, our quartz deposit is just up there. Uh, and I've just built a coal power station uh using that coal and we've got as you can see the front of the building there which i think looks quite good i quite like that i think i've done all right with that we've got a lot of signs about uh providing lighting as you can see um if we look at this side right try and get a bit of a view there we go um Get a bit closer because I've got the graphic settings turned down a little bit. But you can see we've got backlighting behind these um, sections here, which is something I saw on uh, Colonel Failure's playthrough, and I thought it looked rather spiffing. So I thought we'd uh, we'd steal that, um, and that design just carries on all the way down. Uh, I've tried to go for a sort of pseudo battery power theme with the. Uh, lighting on the front. We've got a couple of doorways with their own lighting on the side. So we can go in the side if we want. That, that's that's fair enough. Uh, this brings us on to the, the sort of ground level. I'll turn my torch on because I haven't done any real work with the lighting in here. We've got a little bit of sort of mood lighting, but nothing that's particularly, you know, effective. Um, so if we come down here, we've got a, a raised walkway right through the centre of the power plant. Uh, we have ourselves 16 coal generators. Um, I appear to have painted these pipes a different colour to these pipes. Um, I think I like this colour better, actually. I'll, I'll do that eventually. I'll, I'll get that changed over. Uh, yeah, so we've got... Uh, the inside of the factory, as is. As I say, we've got some sort of ambient lighting going on, but nothing that really helps, so I'll have to sort that out at some point. Uh, and if we come out here, we can go down this ramp, which doesn't quite fit, but never mind. Uh, and this is our logistics floor for the coal. Uh, it's exactly the same setup as we have in our um, other coal facilities uh, up there. So just into a splitter, into a splitter, into a splitter, into a splitter. Basically breaks it down into eight, uh, into 16 separate feeds. Okay, so that's that. Uh, we then have, uh, oops, I missed the ladder. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, down here, we've got our um, eight water pumps. So we've got more than enough water coming through. Uh, I haven't painted any of this stuff down here yet. Uh, but I will do eventually. Uh, certainly get the pipes and the extractors. Oops. And now I'm in the water. There we go. Ah. Uh, so we've got half of the water coming up into basically the centre of the factory there. Uh, that's between the two doorways that we've got. Uh, runs up and drops down into the generators. And on the other side, as you probably have already seen, it all feeds up here into the front of the factory, or the front of the uh, coal plant. Now, I haven't connected any of this up yet, so I don't know if it 
is going to work. Um, in theory, uh, I need to connect it there, but I also need to go around and connect up everything within. I don't think it's connected up to the grid anywhere else. Um, I can probably check that, can't I? Come on. Connect up. Connect. Connect. You little... Ah, I'm building a power pole. That's why it didn't work. <laughs> it's going to be a great episode, folks. Uh, yeah, we got nothing. We've got... Maximum consumption of 8 megawatts. I mean, in theory, we should have more than that. Because we've got all of the... Um, water pumps connected up to this grid. Okay. Now, some of these already have water and coal in them, because I did do a very quick test firing of some of them. So we should, in theory, be able to connect, say, this one up, and it will start running. There we go. We've got a capacity of 175. Okay, it's dropped back down. Why do we suddenly... Hang on, have I connected another one up? I have, I've connected some of these up. That's why. Okay, well, let's just go around and connect all of them up. And we should then have enough power... Come on. ...to fire up the entire system. Because uh, at least these four are already primed to start producing. Okay, I'll go and connect all these up, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I think we've got everything working now, he says. Uh, I had to um, delete and rebuild some of these pipes, and I haven't finished uh, repainting them, as you can see. Uh, I had to take out this wall section, so I'll pop that back in. Um, it's going to be one of those. Come on. In there. And we want to paint it black. There we go. Um, and then we want you. So that we can repaint all of this. But, uh, as far as I can tell, everything is running okay. Uh, we're not connected up to the... Uh, to the main grid yet. So this is all self-sustaining, self-powered um, power generation going on here. Um, we are going to need to connect it up obviously to the uh, main grid pretty quickly because we don't want to waste all of this lovely power that we're making. Uh, as you can also see, I have left this end open. So we can just copy what we've got over there and spread out this way uh, if and when we upgrade that um, coal miner. So, if I dash back all the way through our uh, generator here, back out the front, um, oh, no, I don't want to dis uh, disable that. There we go. Okay. Production 1200 megawatts. That's right. We've got uh, 16. Generators producing 75 megawatts each, so 1,200 is exactly right. Um, consuming up to 208 megawatts on this little circuit here. That's fine. Now, to connect up, we need to find that. There we go. And this is now connected to the grid, so, in theory, we've just bumped up our... Uh, capacity significantly. Excellent stuff. We don't have to worry about power for a little while. Now, the next thing we need to look at is that oil. So, uh, I have extended the road a little way. I haven't um, taken it all the way to the um, oil node itself yet. Uh, so, let me just dash down there. Okay, here we go. This is the little offshoot road that I've got running through here. I haven't obviously finished it. I'm going to put um, a walkway on that side, on this side here. As you can see, I've got the 
grip metal foundations already laid in. Uh, and I'm going to take out the bits that, you know, are covered by this here rock wall. Um, I've done some other bits and pieces in that I have gone through this chasm here and demolished all of the um, gas nodes, as you can see. Uh, and this should bring us fairly close to our gas node. Uh, yeah, our oil node, rather. Keep saying gas, I mean oil, obviously. There we are. It's not as far as we... Uh, oh, bees. That's unfortunate. We're about to get bead. Never mind. Maybe if I stay over here, they'll ignore me. Yeah, that looks hopeful. Okay, so yes, we need to um, obviously connect all of this up and we need to figure out what we're going to do with the uh, oil that it's producing. Um, let's have a look. I don't know if I've even got the um, resources on me. Uh, I do have enough to put in a refinery, so let's have a look at that. Okay. Okay, uh, we don't want to make that. We want to make... Hmm. Now... What is best? Do I make plastic and rubber uh, and use the residual oil to make fuel? Or do I make fuel and use the residual plastic, or polymer rather, to make the rubber and plastic? In terms of buildings, it's less intensive to do it that way round, isn't it? To make the plastic and the rubber and then convert the uh, residual byproduct into fuel. Because with this, we need to add water into the mix as well. Yeah. Yes, that's probably the best way to do it, isn't it? Right, so rubber, we need 30 a minute. Plastic, we also need 30 a minute. Okay, that's okay. And how much are we putting out? 10 oil residue, 20 plastic. 20 oil residue, 20 rubber. Okay. So we can put in four refineries for one extractor. Do we want to do that over here? Yes, probably best. Probably best to do the initial work here. Because we've got a lot of space out here that we can build without being interrupted. I mean, we do also have plenty of water, so... Mm. No, that's what we're going to do. Yes, we're going we're gonna to refine the oil out here. Yes. Okay, right. Let me set up the first stages of that. I'm probably going to need to dash back and get... Yeah, I'm going to need to go back and get some more resources. I'm going to need motors, which I don't think we're building yet, are we? Hmm... Yeah, okay, I'm going to need to go back and get resources then. So let me do that. Um, and then I'll... I don't know, I might have to set up a... A line to make... Motors. That's probably a good idea anyway, isn't it? Right, let me go and grab the resources and I'll have a think along the way. Okay, step one is complete. We have... Our oil extractor... Uh, coming out into four refineries. We have these two on this side uh, set up to produce plastic. Um, so they'll be producing 10 heavy oil residue apiece, which is fine. Uh, and then on this side, we've got the two producing rubber, uh, which are therefore producing 20 heavy oil, uh, heavy oil residue apiece, uh, which gives us a total of 60. Um, and if we come out the back, we've got everything, um, all the exit feeds connected up. So we've got our two plastic feeds over this side. 
uh, and our two rubber feeds over this side. And all of our um, oil residue feeds are connected up in uh, into one. So it all comes out into this one pipe here. Um, and if we come out... come out a little further that's probably best isn't it and we can pop in in theory another refinery hmm yep yeah, putting the refinery there that's fine and then we can come out of there now we want logistics And in here, and this is going to be making residual fuel. And it's going to be outputting 40 a minute, but we're not going to worry about that just at the moment. We will connect all of this up, however. Uh, I have strung power poles back all the way to the... Um, oh, come on. All the way to the coal plant. So, oh, I'm getting stuck on everything now. Uh, so, yeah, in theory, I should just need to connect up that... Well, that's extracting. Okay, alright, what I'm going to do very quickly is I will turn off the two at either end to give all this a chance to fill up with, uh, with oil so we're not stuttering and starting with the uh, production. So there we go. That should be these kicking off now. It certainly is. Excellent stuff. This doesn't appear to be filling up. Neither does this. Hundred and twenty a minute. That's what you should be putting out. So you should be filling that up. Right, I'll give it a few minutes to fill up these pipes. Okay, there we go. All four are now working. Uh, I don't want to connect up this last um, refinery here at the back because obviously we're not doing anything yet. Oops, come on, get up on there, will you? There we go. We're not doing anything yet with the plastic and the rubber, so this is going to back up uh, and stop producing fairly soon. Uh, until we figure out what we're going to do with that. And I think what we're going to do with that is probably... Hmm. I don't really know at the moment. Uh, I know we need a lot of it for the next sort of tier of unlock. So maybe just feeding it out into storage would probably be okay. Yeah, for now, let's be, let's feed out into storage. Uh, we want foundations. That will do. Okay. Uh, we'll stick it central there and... Oops. Uh, central there. And then we'll just come out either side, like so. It's not quite symmetrical, but it will do for the moment. That's literally just to store this so that none of this gets um, backed up. Right. In which case, we can connect this up. So let's bring a power line across to there and straight into there. Um, we do have fluid storage, so let's set up a little bit of that as well. So give me a second and I'll do that. Okay, simple enough. That should keep us going for a little while. Uh, I've got four fluid buffers, but I've given us space to expand out um, as and when we need to. So we'll have plenty of uh, fuel set up. Um, producing 40 a minute. How much do they actually store? 400. Okay, so we got a little while before we need to worry about that. Should I set up more just in case? I'm going to set up some more just in case. Have I got enough? Yes. Uh, okay. 
there. Alright, uh, there. There. And there. And we'll just connect them up. Like so. There we go. Double dust storage. Right. I was just worried it's gone a bit quiet, but we do still seem to be producing. That's fine. Okay, we've already got 200 plastic. And we've got 200 rubber. That's a good start. Right. Let me dash back to the hub then, because I know the next few upgrades require um, plastic and rubber. So it's, it'll be good to have a look at what we need. Okay, here we are back at the hub. Right, let's have a look. Uh, don't care about jump pads. So next up is the gas mask. Um, we need 50 fabric for that. That should be easy enough. Gives us three uh, inventory slots, which is nice. Um, would be useful. It's not essential at the moment. Alternative fluid transport, on the other hand, would be good. Because we would be able to build a packager at that um, and package up some fuel and start running um, our trucks on fuel rather than coal. Or some of our trucks at least on fuel rather than coal, which would be more efficient. I assume. Uh, and for that we need motors, which we're not producing. Um, and heavy modular frames, which again I don't think we're producing. Hmm. Okay, we definitely need to set up production for motors. Uh, let me unlock the gas mask. I can probably do that fairly easily. There we go, then. That's our 50 fabric. I'll dump the uh, unnecessary stuff in here. Um, oh, and the mycelia. There we go. I knew there was something else. Okay, there's the big red button. Milestone reached. Gas masks and filter parts will ensure increased odds of survival in gas-based hazardous environments. Fixit Incorporated would like to extend the friendly advice to not forget to change filters regularly. Thank you for the advice. Is that everything you've got to say? It certainly seems so. Right. Okay, motors. We need to set up motors. Now, we are producing rotors down here. And we are producing stators uh, over there. Hmm. Is it worth setting up another truck line? I would need two more truck stations. I'd need one here to load the... or to either load the uh, rotors into to take up that end. And I'd need one that end to load the stators in to bring this end if we did it the other way around. Alternatively, there is the option of producing the rotors down this end. Because we have... An untouched iron node just here. Let's go and have a quick look. And it's pure. So we could churn out rotors down here. Connect them up with the stators that we are storing in that storage bin right there. And churn out motors. Uh, rotors I think we need... Um, iron rods and screws. Iron rods and screws. Okay, what's going to be easier? Setting up a couple of truck stations and a new truck line? Or setting up a whole new production route? I mean, it's probably going to be the truck... No, no, we're going to set up a new, a new production line. Yes, we are. No, I don't want to dismantle. I want to get rid of this nodule. 
Okay, so some considerable time later, another rough and ready uh, factory has been set up. Hello, tractor. Okay, nothing has been powered yet, uh, although I have set up all the power poles so I can do so easily and in turn. So, this is what we have. We have ourselves a Mark II miner. Which we can connect up. We have a very simple feed coming out. Um, not balanced. Don't care. Into a bunch of smelters. Now. We're getting 240 um, iron ore a minute out of here. I've only connected up the first four smelters because that's really all we need at the moment. Uh, we can connect these up later on as and when we need to. Um, but that should be fine in terms of the feed. They, they should get plenty. Now, all these come out into conveyor lifts which take them upwards. And if we go upwards, two of the conveyor lifts come out here and they feed out into splitters which feed um, two constructors making iron rods. And we can connect these up. There we go. Now these iron rods come out of the back into mergers and into splitters to split them down into uh, 10 iron rods uh, a minute into each one into these constructors which are making screws so we're getting 40 screws a minute out of each of these constructors so we can connect all of these up there we go all connected up and then these screws feed out oops, uh, into mergers. I'm not quite sure. Not quite sure what I was doing there. We, we don't need these uh, additional units in here. But we have them in case we need them, which we don't. But there you go. Uh, so yes, that takes the screws up to the next level. And if we dash back over here, uh, you can see these two conveyor lifts also go up to the uh, top level. And if we go up here, we have the same setup with these uh, conveyors feeding out into splitters, uh, into constructors that are making iron rods. And if we connect these up... like so we should be getting um, but we're not getting um, why aren't we getting um, that might be why we're not getting um, right let's let's dash back upstairs again Now we're getting it. There we go. We're getting our, our feed through now. There we go. Okay, excellent. So all these should now start producing iron rods. Now, these come out into mergers. So we have uh, 30 iron rods per minute being fed out, uh, joining up with the screws from down there. And these are going into two assemblers making rotors. If we connect those up. Oops. There we go. So we've got uh, power shards in here because I have a lot of them and we're not using them anywhere else. Um, so we're making, or we're, the target to make is 4.8 rotors per minute. Whether we'll get that, we should get that because we, we're producing uh, exactly the right number of screws uh, and more iron rods than we need. So that should be okay. But... Once they are produced, they will feed out the back and come into this here assembler, as you can see, which we are going to set up to make motors. 
which take 10 rotors a minute. We're producing 9.6, I think. So that should be okay. Uh, and 10 stators, we have sufficient. So, let's connect that up. Uh, and we will want uh, some storage for this. So, um, let's just stick some storage in right here, shall we? Um, there we go. And we are finally producing motors. That's nice. Right. That took a lot longer than I was anticipating this episode to take. Uh, at least to record. Uh, I appreciate it's slightly shorter than the normal episode. But we'll leave it there for this one. Okay. We are producing plastic, we are producing rubber, we are producing fuel. We are now producing motors, which will also help. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's good. Right. Uh, let me dash back to the hub very, very quickly, and we'll end the episode there. Okay, here we are, back at the hub. Let's have a look. What is our next... Thank you, to save. Your timing, as ever, is perfect. Okay, industrial fuel transport or industrial manufacturing. That gives us access to the modular engine and the adaptive control unit, both of which we need for the next phase of the space elevator. Uh, also gives us access to the manufacturer and the computer. This would be useful. I think we'll go for this. I think we'll set that up. We might want to look at um, manufacturing heavy modular frames. Yeah. Not sure about that one. We, I mean, we're going to need to eventually, but where we're going to do it, I don't know. Because basically it's going to be taking two items from one end and two items from the other end. Unless I set up another part of the factory to use the iron to make the frames that we need. Um, Don't know. We'll think about that for next episode. But thank you very much for watching. Uh, please do give us any comments down below. And thank you very much to the people who do comment. Uh, and especially the people who comment regularly. It really does help the channel out. Um, please do give us a like and a subscribe. Um, similarly, that helps the channel out a great deal as well. And thank you very much. Please join us next time. Until then, I've been John. This has been Satisfactory. Please do take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And bye-bye.